Namaste, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today, we're going to be doing Prime Minister Modi's address on the China issue. Yeah. So we know the other day there were more than 20 soldiers uh, killed, um, fallen at the border, and our hearts go out to their families. They yeah. put their lives on the line every single day. Um, you it know, shouldn't have gone this way. It shouldn't have gone down this way. We know it wasn't a, a fair fight either, and they were basically tortured. Um, so that even more makes it hard to digest that not only did we lose amazing soldiers, but China, again, tweaks the rules to their advantage um, and does whatever they want. So lying, cheating, stealing, um, they know no bounds. Yeah. So uh, we're going to listen to Modi address the issue and um, and salute the soldiers, and then we'll talk at the end. Yep. Ready? Bharat Mata ke veer saputo ne Galwan Valley mein hamari matru bhoomi ki raksha karte huye sarvoch balidan diya hai. मैं देश की सेवा में उनके इस महान बलिदान के लिए उन्हें नमन करता हूं उन्हें कृतज्ञता पूर्वक श्रद्धांजलि देता हूं दुख की इस कठिन घड़ी में हमारे इन शहीदों के परिजनों के प्रति मैं अपनी संवेदना व्यक्त करता हूं आज पूरा देश आपके साथ है देश की भावनाएं आपके साथ है चाहे स्थिति कुछ भी हो परिस्थिति कुछ भी हो भारत पूरी दृढ़ता से देश की एक एक इंच जमीन की देश के स्वाभिमान की रक्षा करेगा भारत सांस्कृतिक रूप से एक शांति प्रिय देश है हमारा इतिहास शांति का रहा है भारत का वैचारिक मंत्र ही रहा है लोका हा समझता हा सुखिनो भवंतु हमने हर युग में पूरे संसार में शांति की पूरी मानवता के कल्याण की कामना की है हमने हमेशा से ही अपने पड़ोसियों के साथ एक कोऑपरेटिव और फ्रेंडली तरीके से मिलकर काम किया है हमेशा उनके विकास और कल्याण की कामना की है जहां कहीं हमारे मतभेद भी रहे हैं हमने हमेशा ही ये प्रयास किया है कि मतभेद विवाद न बने डिफरेंसेस डिस्प्यूट्स में न बदले हम कभी किसी को भी उकसाते नहीं हैं लेकिन हम अपने देश की अखंडता और संप्रभुता के साथ समझौता भी नहीं करते हैं जब भी समय आया है हमने देश की अखंडता और संप्रभुता की रक्षा करने में अपनी शक्ति का प्रदर्शन किया है अपनी क्षमताओं को साबित किया है त्याग और तितिक्षा हमारे राष्ट्रीय चरित्र का हिस्सा है लेकिन साथ ही विक्रम और वीरता भी उतना ही हमारे देश के चरित्र का हिस्सा है 
मैं देश को भरोसा दिलाना चाहता हूं हमारे जवानों का बलिदान व्यर्थ नहीं जाएगा हमारे लिए भारत की अखंडता और संप्रभुता सर्वोच्च है और इसकी रक्षा करने से हमें कोई भी रोक नहीं सकता इस बारे में किसी को भी जरा भी भ्रम या संदेह नहीं होना चाहिए भारत शांति चाहता है लेकिन भारत उकसाने पर हर हाल में यथोचित हर हाल में यथोचित जवाब देने में सक्षम है और हमारे दिवंगत शहीद वीर जवानों के विषय में देश को इस बात का गर्व होगा कि वे मारते मारते मरे हैं अभी मेरा आप सभी से सभी आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री जी से सभी यहां इस मीटिंग में वर्चुअल मीटिंग में उपस्थित आप सभी से आग्रह है कि हम खड़े होकर के दो मिनट मौन रख करके इन वीर सपूतों को पहले श्रद्धांजलि देंगे उसके बाद आज जो हमने हमारी मीटिंग तय की है उस मीटिंग को आगे बढ़ाएंगे This was a good message from Modi, you know. Yeah. We know there's been a lot of soldiers that lost their lives and um but like he said, not letting any blood drop go to waste. Nope. India is strong. Um but India is also very peaceful. We know India never starts the wars. Never starts fight. No. So, but you're not going to let them walk all over you either. So, yeah. we want there to be some retaliation for this, but I don't want it to be a full out bloody war. Yeah. Unfortunately, I know everybody whose blood is boiling and especially when you hear that they were tortured, um those soldiers didn't deserve any of that and it saddens us. Um but I don't think a war to the full best out way. war with China is the best answer to this right now and hopefully Modi has some ideas but we've been talking about some ideas here too and if you guys have other ideas um please let us know in the comments too um what else you know the the longer the list the better hopefully we can get back at China yeah. for the stuff that they've started um so many things they've started yeah our theories are a little bit more political a little yeah. bit more um and less about hitting them with the bullets china needs to be hit power to power i think yeah especially um what sonam sonam said mm -hmm. in his video was to stop buying china products and yeah. wallet not bullet mm -hmm. so we need to stop buying China products, but we also need to start making things that are in India. We need to start making things that are made in the U.S. We need to start making these things that are not made in China, but mm -hmm. if they are, they need to be in bold so you can actually see if they're made in China so you can buy something different. Now, it's not going to be perfect because there are some things that are only made in China. Mm. So it isn't going to be perfect if you don't have a choice. So we need to get that made in India on things that we can actually use, things that are good quality. Good quality, yeah. So you don't have to buy a bunch of shoes over and over and over again that are made from China. You just have to buy two shoes that are good quality from India. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and spinning off of that a little bit is they need to be hit hard, and I hope Modi does this, is with the trade. There is yeah. no trade balance 
dealing with China. Here in the U.S., it's huge, too. Um, Trump has gotten it a little bit better, but China makes two, three, four, five times as much money as we make from them. And Which it's the crazy. same in India. So, you know, China doesn't, you know, every paperwork that they fill out, everything that they do, they don't go by any of the rules. They know what the world will, but they don't follow the rules. So, you know what? Throw your trade agreement out the window and tell them no more trade. We're going to start a new agreement, um, but no more trade unless it's dollar for dollar. And that yep. should go for everywhere. Like if you're doing trade with China, stop. Stop it right now. And it needs to be dollar for dollar. It's not you make $5 $50. and I make $1. You, it shouldn't be like that. And that's yeah. how China gets countries indebted to them. So it shouldn't be more coming in from China unless, you know, it's, it, it's got to be a balance. It's yeah. got to be a balance. And um, yeah, that's, that's a huge. And like you said, made in India. Modi is opening that door up. And I hope you guys open your arms to that because I think it will create a lot of jobs and you need to be making it will definitely more help. stuff in India. And we want, we know it's good quality, but we want the world to think like, oh, if I bought it because it's made in India, it's good. Yeah. Not only is it beautiful, but it's good quality. And it'll stay with me. Yeah. And I don't have to buy five of them because um, it's not cheap yeah. crap. Some of the other things is... Um, bringing these issues up at the UN. Not so much about the border. Bringing up stuff like, why is there no investigation on China? They hold a permanent membership. Why is their UN seat not put on probation? They're starting wars. They're starting, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. More viruses the world. have come from China than any other place. Yeah. And the worst part is they still have a permanent UN seat. Yeah, like how can you have a permanent UN seat and yet not be following any patents? If you're not being truthful, why do you have a permanent membership seat Yeah, at all? Um, you know, they've taken over Tibet. They've taken over Taiwan. They're trying to take Hong Kong again. They This one China policy, if it hasn't gone out the window... Modi needs to say it's done. Nobody, no more one China policy. We're not agreeing to that anymore. Yeah. You know, support Tibet the best way you can politically. Bring up Tibet, Taiwan, Hong Kong on the UN floor. Like, they need to have their autonomy back. They need to have their freedom back. They were great. And China is trying to sweep them into their Communist Party. And they need to back off. Yeah. India has always had peaceful answers to a lot of stuff and a peaceful message and a peaceful message and we love that about india um we know the army is strong guys don't think that we don't think the army is strong but we don't think starting a war with china right now is we'll the time to do it better. you need to get even stronger they have way too much firepower right now not that you won't kick their butt but i think they might come and kick harder. And so we worry about that a little bit. We want you guys to get stronger, both, you know, economically and like made in India. That's where we, we want you to focus, you know, get through this coronavirus and focus on made in India um, and kick them politically and in the wallet as opposed to in, as a, in a bullet because we don't want a full on third world war here but part of the made in india have these companies that make guns that make weapons that make tank you need to bring some of those in you have the smartest engineers scientists computer generators there that we know of anywhere bring in these military bring in weaponry and start making them in india start yeah. making the guns in india start making the tanks in india the fighter jets in india get your people working on that to make them you it china didn't get them out of the blue you know they steal everything they took guns copycat. copycat guns from russia they copycat fighter jets from the u.s they don't start from scratch are you kidding me you don't need to start from scratch bring in some of these companies that are already making stuff and find out from your military 
how to make it better. Use your engineers, use your yeah. brain, use that Indian brain power and make it better. And, and like we said before, we talked about the second amendment here, um, letting your citizens arm themselves. It's called layering, you know, yeah. you have the army and you have the police, hopefully with better weapons than a stick. And, and then you have trained armed citizens. There's not too many countries that come and invade the U.S. Why? Now, it doesn't just have to do with our army power. They don't come across the border and start a war with us. There mm -hmm. is a reason for that, that it doesn't escalate. There's a reason that we don't have days and days of terrorist attacks that go on like 2611. There are too many people in the U.S. that carry guns. I know it's hard for you to think about it, but it's something that if you start bringing the manufacturing in and you train people the right way, you have that extra layer of power. But like we said, we don't want it to start World War III. Yeah. As much as we think the U.S. and a lot of these other democratic countries and a lot of the world, because everybody's upset with China on the virus, we don't think World War III, we don't want more Indians to die. That's no. what it comes down to. So hit them where it hurts politically, the UN, um, anything that you can bring up at the UN, the lying, the viruses, um, why do they still have a seat? How many patents have they violated? You know, lawsuits against them left and right. This is where you need to hit them. Yeah. And everybody, everybody can hit them in the wallet. You can stop buying the products. You can stop picking their apps. You know, there's a whole list of Chinese apps online. I found a few of them that um, are specifically from India because there's nothing I recognized on them. Um, check it out. Take those apps off your phone. Let them know in a big way, like, we're not happy. They're, yeah. they're going to have to change their tune. We would like them to head more towards democracy. Um, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but they need that. They think they're all powerful now to be taken away. And these are a few ways we think Modi can do it and hopefully has some other great ideas. And like we said, if you have some other great ideas, but we cannot, cannot trust the Chinese Communist Party. You just can't. Um, and the people that support it. You just can't. So we're going to tell you a little story um, that happened in our family here. Yeah. The other day, I went and picked up the mail outside our house, and I was going through it, and there was a small package, um, and I was like, oh, you know, maybe something my husband ordered and forgot to tell me. But then I looked at it again. S super small, has our home address on it, um, has a bunch of Chinese writing on it, and the only thing it says in English is unknown sender and earrings, um, which we haven't ordered anything. Nobody knows our home address. We are a channel that, that is public. We do political stuff. We do all kinds of stuff. Um, we've had some not nice things said to us about uh, and threats to us on our channel, not the first time, um, but literally, I think this is a coronavirus in a box right now. I, I don't know how many times I washed my hands. I don't trust what it says on the front. Half of it I can't read. And um, so we'll make a, a blog and about it because it's one of those things like when you send something out of the country, you have to write who the sender is. Like when I send stuff to India, I have to write my name on it and my address. Yeah. Why am I getting something in the mail that has gone through checks points and somehow has made it to my house. So for any of you guys out there who want to send us something that's not to email or Facebook or Twitter, um, we have a PO box that's not attached to our house. There's a reason for that for safety reasons, um, to send anything you want to send us nice stuff, hopefully. Um, a little bit freaked out because I know how the Chinese lie so we don't know if somebody is not doesn't like us and they're sending us the virus in a box or it's a nice gesture because it comes from we have no idea and then today 
there was another box outside of our house. So before I brought it inside, I checked and it's from India and it tells me the company it's from and the address it's from and all that good stuff. And it was something my husband had ordered. So I trusted that. This other one we will vlog for you later. Um, but it is a little bit like, did, did I get a virus in a package in the mail and how did it get through the mail? So I'm a little bit mad at the mail system right now and thinking about calling the police on it, about it, to see what we should do about it because this is not normal for us to get anything from China. Yeah. Definitely like India, arming ourselves and um, because it's, it's like we said, we don't trust it. Just like we don't trust China right now. On that note, use politics, use the UN seat, use Made in India, and um, get stronger. But like Modi said, the, the drops of blood from those soldiers is not going to go to waste. But you need to hit China where it hurts. Yeah. And I think bloodshed is not going to really hurt them. They're not going to feel the pain. You need to hit them in the wallet. Because it's not the Communist Party that's going after no, them. No, it's, it's not the, the Communist actual Party. People. It's the, the soldiers and then probably the um, citizens that are going to get hurt by all this. And the same in India. And the it's Communist not... Party, as you can see, does not care about the No, citizens. they don't care about their people. Um, so many of them have the virus now. Again, it's breaking out. So, yeah. We need to hit them where it hurts. The wallet and then politically. Yeah. Companies in the wallet and politics. Everybody. We need the world to come together on this and hit them hard. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.